Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I just let my Xbox Gold membership expired and I frankly really don't care. Which is a big change, I have been subscribed to Xbox Gold pretty much since I got my Xbox 360 about 9 years ago. It's used to play online games on the Xbox services and nine years ago that seemed to be a pretty good deal. I didn't have a good gaming PC and just getting online with the Xbox 360 seemed to be easier to do. There was also a whole lot more Xbox exclusives that I would want to play online games with. I will probably miss playing online Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't even know if there's anyone on there who still plays that game since it's 10 years old and been taken off the market. But you get my point. That's why I bought it was to play online games. And then over the course of the years um, to help with competition Microsoft added a few nice goodies to it they added in extra discounts and they added in free games and at first these free games are exactly what they were they were free games given to you if you were subscribed that month and if you didn't want to be subscribed after you gotten those games you didn't have to be they were given nowadays you have to keep your subscription services up and for those people who defend them because I used to defend this measure I just hate to break it to you, but PC markets got this down to a point where um, you don't need this type of subscription service with Steam. The online games are free. The Tomb Raider, which I'm using as the backdrop for this video, is the Xbox One definitive version. I have the Steam version on my PC. Two, I'll be looking at both and doing a review on the game and like I said comparing the two but the Steam versions online is free and since I got the definitive edition on Xbox One at the gold and I played through it before my gold card expired um, but I noticed that things like online and a lot of the other community assets on Steam are free and for those again who are saying free games and sales True, Steam does not give away games for free, but again, like I said, it's you have to now still stay subscribed if you want those games to be free. So what you're really doing is paying an $8 monthly subscription charge for them. It's kind of like saying something on Netflix is free. Yeah, it's free as long as you stay subscribed to Netflix. You're still kind of paying a subscription fee for it. And most of the time, the games they offer me aren't really my cup of tea. I might have a mild curiosity with them, but they're not something I would be expert in. They're not something I would normally go out and enjoy or even really pay for. And when it comes to sales, when you have the looks of things like the Steam sales and just the amount they go on and you don't need to buy some sort of subscription service for Steam to enjoy their weekly Steam sales. Sorry guys, the whole um, you have to buy a subscription fee in order to pay online for consoles really does look outdated. And when it comes to the Microsoft model, here's where it makes things even worse. To play online on the Xbox One, Microsoft will charge you that $60. To pay on the PC online, you get to pay almost absolutely nothing. And anymore, a lot of Microsoft's big IP is available on PC. In fact, they even have cross buy. So, yeah, I really don't see the need for the subscription service, Microsoft. I really, really don't. I'm sorry to say that. Anyways, this is Tommy the Game Master, hoping you enjoyed this rant. I'll see you guys later.